looks like we got a new friend. Oh, no, it's okay, buddy. That's okay. Muted. Yep, no, only you can hear me. Oh, Let's no. go back through that again. We are live! Oh, hi, everyone, and welcome to the Guildmates of Ravnica. Unfortunately, today we're going to be struggling through Discord, which means there's going to be all sorts of different uh, technical problems, not only in the background, but also in the foreground, as we struggle through all the different types of uh, technical delays that are going to be happening. So there's going to be a uh, digital delay on some of our speech, and also delays on the start time of about half an hour. Uh, so thank you all for hanging in there. We are now live. We shall continue to go live, but we are using Discord instead of Zoom, so apologies for the that's going to happen in the middle of the stream at random points guaranteed especially since zoom is down probably there's going to be a lot of traffic coming to discord so there's going to be a lot of delays social links i've already posted them discord twitter youtube go and check them all out we also have a patreon um every 10 retweets we'll get a roll on a on a custom table that kyle has made for us and i'm very excited about um i don't know about what you're saying scrap but twitch is down on my end Twitch is that just me? down? Yeah, it says Twitch machine got unplugged. Try it. Uh, maybe yep. that's just my end. Nope, I see that too. Yeah. Anyone there? Are my stats are good. <laughs> is anyone? Is anyone home? According to my end, we dropped some frames at the start, but everything's good. I right, reloaded the, the page. page. Try and refresh. Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be We're a stream and a half today. <laughs> It's back. Oh, man. Well, you know what, guys? Okay. Check out my stuff. Um, let's go around and introduce everyone. Um, Kyle, hi. Hi. Wow. So, yeah, welcome to whatever today is. Um, yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Kyle, Sir Stalwart on the uh, the internet. And uh, <laughs> we're going to try to kick this pig today, whether it wants to cooperate or not. 
Um, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, I guess, so we got to do the uh, character. You want to do character intros first? and Or player intros? Yeah. Slash character intros? Up to you, you to Khan, if you want, It's up to you. Okay. Do you want to do an intro first and then us play ourselves into it? Or would you rather do an intro and then see what you've got and mangle us mm. in somewhere? How about we? How about we do a setting intro? Since this is our new campaign, character intros, and then jump right into the narrative. You're the boss, boss. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this campaign, uh, Guildmates of of Ravnica, we're going to, uh, much like uh, uh, Kiana uh, did with One Shot Wonders, um, uh, we're going to take uh, systematically each month for this uh, for for this season. We're going to use a different guild from uh, from Ravnica's setting because the, the setting revolves around. 10 guilds that kind of hold the balance in the world. And uh, this this month, uh, January, we're going to do the, the Boros Guild, which is like the Ravnica's primary military force. And um, uh, law enforcement, they kind of share that duties with, with a different guild. But um, yeah, it's all about justice and might and, and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, Ravnica is a, a city that's very heavily, it, it's a... Um, an entire world covered in like a cityscape and uh though there's much nature left from top to bottom and then some um but it's uh it's a lot of magic going on some technology so uh yeah it's a it's a city of magic it's a city of guilds it's a city of wonder um but we're gonna find out where our players fall on that spectrum so they are all level five characters so they've been around a little while and um let's start let's start off with uh i guess uh sizzy nairi um hi hi um so yeah i'm nairi uh at melketra on twitter and i'm playing sizzy fizzlebrass who is a goblin gunslinger and um she is a part of the boros legion and she is going to be doing her best to make sure that there is Looks just like to be had and that no bad guys do the bad stuff. Um, yep. No, no bad guys. No, no, no bad stuff. Very good. Not, Very none good. of that. Good. Yeah, we're going to squash it all. <laughs> yeah. Love the enthusiasm from the goblin. He's got to fix it. Very good. Um, Arcanist, can you tell us about Colton? Hi, I'm Arcanus, uh, at Arcanus on Twitter. Uh, Colton, he is, he's been around the block a few times. He is a uh, human uh, champion fighter. He's part of the Boros Legion, and he's trying to overcome a uh, dark past and make sergeant. Maybe today's that day. Maybe. Very good. Um, okay. Uh, Brett, Atomic Firebird, can you tell us about Idonia? Hi, I'm Britt. Um, I'm playing Adonia Elise. Uh, she is a Asimar ranger, uh, sort of a detective type um, for this whole, uh, you know, militaristic guild. Um, she has, you know, angelic lineage, obviously, because of the whole, you know, Ravnica angel thing, blah. Um, but she's not in line for anything or anything, nothing big or fancy. But she is working very hard to impress her family. Um, she's very ambitious, and she really wants to serve the guild very well. You know, solve crime and stuff. Well, you can fix. Um, you can fix what Sizzy doesn't actually get to. So then, and then we'll have all crime will be gone. Awesome. <laughs> so, so uh, Scrat, can you tell us about? Um, and let me say, uh, Insta Instaluche, 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 Sanatatum. I am a dragonborn. And I come from far away. Uh, my name, it has meaning. Uh, I am the, the health of the starlight. Uh, and I will be, bring, bring my blessings to the party, not only in fixing the things that they break, but also fixing the bodies that they break. I get it. In Stella, in Stella, Stella, Stella. Okay, cool, cool, sure. Awesome. Okay, so... um. Our characters will be forming a party that is has been organized by upper upper echelon uh, Boros, and uh, they're well. I guess we'll let we'll let events show you their uh, their their primary mission. 
So let's get started. Uh, let's get started with, with something that's pretty important, uh, time. Time is very important. Time can be kind of elusive. So um, in the instance where you, got, when, where you guys are going to start, time is very slow. It seemed to have slowed down to a, uh, to a crawl. Uh, Sizzy, time for you is, is, is gotten very slow. You're actually flying through the air right now. Um, you're sideways, so it's not optimal. The landing's probably not going to go well. Um, but you have time to think as you're flying through the air. And um, you, you, you try to figure out why you're flying through the air. And then you remember, you, you look around, you see dust, but you remember, you, you remember how it started. You guys are all lined up along a wall. You're waiting to, uh, while your sergeant questions somebody in a doorway to a building. Everyone is in the um, an abandoned part of Ravnica, currently uh, teeming with Gruul clansmen. Gruul is another guild. Um, it is the primal guild, the guild that was originally in charge of keeping the wildlands, what was left of the wildlands in Ravnica, safe. They hate uh, everything that has to do with uh, order, uh, progression, technology. Um, so they're they're essentially, you know, a lot of them are raiders, but a lot of them are just normal, primal type people. But the lead that you've received from your superiors has led you guys to this set of ruins, and your sergeant is sure that he can talk somebody into getting a lead in this building. So you're all lined up along the outside of this building. And there's a doorway, and your sergeant's standing there talking to somebody in the doorway. Um, Sizzy, you can't really see what's going on. You are stuck in the back of this line of party members, and you're stuck babysitting the Azorius cleric that was that was told to accompany you. A young, strapping young chap by the name of Jennings, and he's been getting on your nerves the entire way here. Um, just, just yapping away. But uh, you, you lost sight of Jennings uh, about probably half a second ago. Um, as you began flying th through the air, um, you remember two things. You remember your orders that were given by uh, Commander Yasmin. And uh, your, your orders were to keep track of the young lad and help find the, fi the missing fire main angel. One of the higher ranked members in the Boris Legion has gone missing. Gruel clansmen are believed to be behind the uh, the abducted angel, but it takes quite a bit to abduct an angel, so probably looking at quite a hefty uh, hefty trail ahead of you. But the, la the last the other thing you remember is while you were standing there waiting for something to happen, in this young. Um, young cleric, uh, Azorius cleric, is swatting at a bug. It was a, a, a fat bug about that big with a, with a little stinger, and it's lazily buzz, buzzing along, and you're like, ah, just a bug, you know? And this, this kid's, oh, oh no! Ah! And then he starts screaming as the bug comes towards his face. Kill it! Kill it! Now he starts really screaming, kill it! Oh, get off me! Kill it! So, Next thing you know, the wall beside you feels like it explodes on your on your left flank. Something through the air. Oh, uh, Brit. Um, let's see here. Idonia. There we go. Names. Um, Idonia. You hear the young Azorius cleric behind you. Yammering about uh, kill it kill it and um you you things start to happen for you as you feel the cleric smack into your back and not only smack into your back but with his full body weight push you over and he's kind of lay kind of you're going down and he's laying on top of you screaming kill it kill it on your way to the ground as time is going very slow now um yeah, you hear a big sounds like an sounds like a, a, a landslide of sorts behind you. 
Hopefully, hopefully the boy's not getting buried. But something's definitely going on behind you. Time's a little too slow to, to be able to check yet. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Instaluluche? Instaluluche. Correct. That is correct. You are staring at the um, grizzled form of Colton, the soon-to-be sergeant. Stand-up guy. He's put a lot of time in. Um, you're staring at him because he's standing right behind Sergeant Groth at the doorway. So you can't quite see in the doorway. You're lined up. You all lined up against the wall. When you hear "kill it, kill it," ah, you see the Sergeant Groth put his hands up and start stepping backwards. Time is very slow. Um, you feel the hands of Idonia hit your back as you as and kind of propel you forward as, as uh, something's going on behind you. You hear the sound of rubble flying. You see a, a dust cloud start to pass by you. Something's going on. Um, you see Sergeant Groth with his hands up begin to turn in the face of the Minotaur. The bull-like features, wide eyes, pupils completely dilated. He begins to turn and start to Head your way. With possibly the best view of all, the soon-to-be Sergeant Colton, um, you're looking in the doorway. It's handled. A centaur on the inside of the door. King, he's very charismatic. Oh. Aggie on your end. Uh, yeah, I lost you a bit there. Yeah, it's lagging pretty hard on my end. Yeah, mine too. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully there we go. So Colton, you're um, yeah, you're looking at Sergeant Groth calmly talking to the centaur on the inside of the door. A centaur is a is adorned in like tribal wear. Um, looks very primitive, very not nice of a person, but he's tolerating Sergeant Groth's conversation. You can't quite hear it. Can't quite hear exactly what they're saying, but he's got the situation under control. When you hear, kill it, kill it, oh God, coming from behind that stupid kid they sent along with you guys. Um, and uh, the centaur, the centaur's face scrunches into a mean scowl. And he, you, you see his body start to rear up on the inside of the 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 stone ruined doorway he, he um as he rears up on the inside of the doorway sergeant groth begins to turn and he's starting to come out towards you and you see that he gets kicked by the centaur in the side of the head sergeant groth flies back time's very slow it's so slow you don't really feel the pain as sergeant groth is propelled into your loving arms, or not so loving, um, into your arms, and you both go skidding across the ground. There's a lot of dust for everyone. Dust is, is pretty much everywhere. Big cloud of dust. Time's going to speed up. Right now. So, Sizzy, you fly across the street, through the air, you smack into the uh, opposite, the, the building on the opposite side of the street, you smack into the wall. You, you're hurt. You're, you're hurt. More, more so dazed than, you know, actually hurt, hurt. Wind's knocked out of you, you're kind of dizzy. Time's, time's come back. Time's on a regular, regular flow now. And you're able to get up. Idonia, the kid's on top of you. You've smacked your hands. Um, against the back of Instella Luce. And he's, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, no, get it off me. Colton, you have a sergeant on, a uh, minotaur laying on top of you. You're kind of smushed at the moment. Otherwise, pretty unhurt. Instella Luce, um, you're on the ground from getting pushed forward, but you're unhurt as well. The dust is starting to clear. 
Go ahead. What would you all like to do? Apologize profusely to Stella Luce. <laughs> no, it's okay. What the hell was that? An explosive bug? I'm, I'm gonna... Ooh. Music just got real loud. Sorry. Oh, wow. We didn't test music. There's another thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can change the volume on the music in Roll20 in your um, in the jukebox. Sorry, I... Normally we test me test the volumes before we start, but it's been you know, a today. day, everyone. It's been a day. Yeah. <laughs> I've only been, been awake for like two hours, and it's been a day. <laughs> Big lag. So yeah, you can thing. just go to the juke. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just I just made it less loud. Okay. There you go. Uh, so in the direction of the cleric, kid. What is wrong with you? It's very unprofessional. The kid starts to get off you. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, sorry. Did you see the bug? I just kind of put. I'm not very strong, but I, you know, push him away as much as I can. Hmm. Please stop talking. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. He puts his head down and just kind of stands there, and looks around. Knowing he screwed up. Antonia's gonna look around like, oh gosh, did they see me push that dragonborn? Colton! You're, um, the sergeant's starting to roll off of you at this point. And you just hear him. I'm gonna assist him kind of rolling off, because he probably isn't so steady right now. Kind of look at his head, check the Thanks. I, I... From behind. Okay. Uh, I'll see the, the kid making a bit of a fuss. Just kind of roll my eyes. Uh, where's the goblin? Sizzy, where is the goblin? You are sitting up and you see a, a cloud of dust where you were, and you're starting to see shapes. Starting to see your fellow party members through the dust as it's clearing. So, how far away am I? How far did I fly? About me. What the damn hell? I get up, just sort of dust myself off, and I grumpily start moving forward and head towards the shapes I see. Or, like, you know, my party. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. The... Okay. Okay, you see the boy over there staring, it's like looking at you and looking down, and you see I Idonia starting to stand up and Colton looking for you. Weren't you Idonia's supposed to be babysitting? And... Well, yeah, but it's kind of hard doing that when you got blown away. What the Ooh. hell happened? Jennings, do you have something to do with this? Um, no. N no, uh, the, the wall's not there anymore. I, I think I saw something push it over, and then you were gone, and there was the bug. Did you see the bug? You saw the bug. I showed it to you. It was, it, it could have killed us all. Yeah, what a dangerous bug. We'll push the wall. I, I don't know. I saw a big hand. About the size of you. Just a shinshank. Sure. <laughs> That's a natural 20 up to a 22 total. Nice. So, um, though the stone structure wouldn't indicate a hand shape because of the stones them individually would be coming out. Um, though, yeah, it is, it is a hole about four foot by four foot. Um, if the creature was big enough, it could have been punched through. So it exploded about right by where you were. There was a hole, and as you, uh, the dust is clearing now, so you can kind of see inside. And it looks like, it looks to be a long, emptied, and forgotten cathedral-type building on the inside. 
most of the buildings in this in this area are kind of indescript at this point. They've been abandoned for hundreds of years. Um, but the Gruul clans, you're deep in Gruul country right now, and they like they like to live in these ruins and stuff. But um, just looking inside, you don't see anybody. No sign of the centaur or anybody else at this point. But uh, yeah, presumably with the 22, yeah, something could have definitely something large could have punched through that. This is weird. I actually believe you for once. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't lie. Uh, hey, you guys, I think something might have just, you know, as he said, something might have punched through this. It's kind of weird. Don't know why they would do that. Do you want to check it out? Well, there was nothing around us. Do you think the child, in his fervor to get rid of the bug, did something with his magic? No, I, I my eyes. I, I don't have any magic. Alright. We can take I, a look. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I don't funny. even know why you're here either. And still, Luce, you've gotten off the ground. You see that uh, the party's starting to reconverge. Try to figure out what's going on. What are you doing? I will look around for broken things and fix them. <laughs> this um no buddy's broken but the sergeant is kind of uh looks like he's leaning up against uh, the building he doesn't look um like he's faring the greatest i'll go and place a hand on his shoulder do you need the power of the stars mm. um, he's kind of like pushing your hand off thank you i'm i'm seeing stars at the moment I don't need power from them. Um, all right. Does anybody know where the centaur went? And he's grabbing. Kind of lost him in the confusion. Oh. All right. Somebody no, check inside. I'm sorry. Somebody check inside the building, please. Uh, Adonia will go. She feels very guilty that the kid distracted her and she stopped keeping an eye out, so. Okay. Um, yeah. You walk inside the doorway. Can you do a perception check for me, Adonia, as you enter the abandoned ruins? Can, can everyone do me a quick favor? I'm going to take some action against this whole spiking thing killing the stream. Can everyone pull me a great big smile as I'm going to print screen you? <laughs> awesome. Crack on, I'll be in the background, working away. I don't know why I just accidentally rolled with advantage, it looked like. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> no, 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 it, it defaults. It'll default like that. It's fine. The oh, first, okay. The number on the left is always your regular roll. You're, you're the one we go by, yeah. No, it'll, oh, it'll I see, default. I see, okay. Um, And it'll show you if it's a... Um, advantage, disadvantage. So, uh... So, 15? Okay. Uh, you look in the room, and there's also dust in here that is blown in from from the hole in the wall. Uh, but it looks it looks as though there there is, um, on the right side of this room, it's kind of, it's about 20 foot by 30 foot room. Uh, a gathering area of sorts. Uh, probably once used for, for religious ceremonies. Um, look to the right side of the room, and there is a large area that is that is covered, the ground is covered by, it looks like, pelts, furs, um, and some other materials. Maybe a, a sort of makeshift quick bed of sorts. And you can see a few a few crates over there as well. Some uh, with some stacks of uh, meat sitting on top of the crates. Um, other than that, there doesn't seem to be anyone in here at the moment. Alright, I... Do my cursory glance around. I pull out a handkerchief and I start brushing the dust off of me to go back and report to the sergeant, looking a little less frazzled. Okay. And I'll go back out. Okay. Um, you go back out to uh, the this the sergeant. The Minotaur has now seemed to 
regain his his uh, posture, and he's staring daggers at the uh, the young Azurius boy. And uh, um, you come out just as he's he's saying, "Did you have to say kill it, kill it?" While I'm talking to the captors, and the boy just keeps his head down. And, no, I'm sorry, it was a bug. Adonia, what did you find? There's nobody in there. There's just meat and nothing important, I don't think. Not just have gone up. Well, this is a setback. Uh, from what I gathered from my conversation is that uh, they seem justified in keeping the angel captive because we have one of their I didn't quite get who or know how to solve this but maybe if we can catch up to them we can fix it the uh, sergeant starts to stand up and he gets he looks like he's getting a little woozy so he sits back down <sighs> Colton yes sir um Fairly certain, I have brain damage. Very sorry to hear that, sir. Me too. But I am looking for an excuse for a little leave of absence, and seeing as how this is your day, your last day with me, I'm fairly confident that if I go tend to this wound with ale, that you can take the, the rest and make sure the boy doesn't die and uh, find out where this centaur and uh, whatever it was that uh, put a hole in the wall find out where they're at so we can find out where the angel's at understood sir and I'll approach him a bit closer so I can whisper him are you absolutely sure I need to take the boy? I don't know why he's here. I haven't seen him do a damn thing, but um, orders are orders. So just don't trust anything to go well with sneaking. Just find them. Do not go in and get the angel yourself. Okay. Understood. I trust you're smarter than that by now. All right, I am I'm banged up pretty well. Uh, he looks over at uh, Insta Luce. Not that bad, though. You're good. You're good. Pulls himself to his feet and says, um, All right, Colton, show's yours. Last day, so make it happen. Yes, sir. And he salutes you in a Boros fashion salute and heads back towards uh, the local. This is the, uh, you're in Precinct 6. Uh oh. Yeah, everyone just started disappearing. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, please oh. turn off cams. I have replaced you for a print screen. So let's, the stream's been dropping. We've lost about 10% of our content. So let's drop the cams and hope that that stops the, um, hope that that stops everything from spiking quite so much. Um,. But we'll carry on audibly. There's pictures of you all on screen, smiling wonderfully. Um, we'll go from this and see if this fixes the problems. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And thank you for your patience, chat. We'll try and work through this. Okay. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, so um, the sergeant leaves. Sergeant Groth um, looks quite dizzied, and he leaves to go back to the, uh, the, the precinct's local office. And, Colton, you're left in charge. How would you like to handle the situation? Well, we need to pick up their trail. Idonia, do you think you're going to have any luck doing that? I'm very sorry, you just roboted out for me. Can you repeat that? Uh, I think we need to... Uh find their trail if possible i don't need do you think you're going to be able to uh get any 
hopefully. I'll give it a I'll give it a go. The sniffling boy walks over. <laughs> um, is there anything I can do to help um soon to be sergeant, sir? Just keep your head down and stay quiet. Okay, I can I can do that. Sure. Sizzy, how are you doing over there? I'm doing all right. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Does anybody need any healing? No, but the offer is very much appreciated. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Where, 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 where did the, uh, the, the people go? Well, I think they went out the back. Oh, okay. Let's see what we can find then. The dust is completely settled. And you're all standing right outside this uh, this ruined cathedral. And um, are you going inside? Or are you staying outside? How would you like to handle that? Well, if the implication is that we're looking for someone who booked it after the uh, wall thing, is there any possibility that there's evidence in the fallen dust of a direction? Um... Out front here, no, but if you'd like to take a look uh, where they fled from. Yeah. Uh, if, if you got, okay. If you guys head inside, whoever would like to try to um, look and see if for tracks or any of their remains can roll uh, a investigation check, please. I would like to do that. Yeah, I'll turn it on the... Colton won't be doing any investigating, but he will be making sure everybody's. Oh, okay, very good. See, so, yeah, as as uh, Sizzy and Idonia um, kind of look around, they're starting to to look around for things. Uh, the the boy um, Jennings kind of uh, migrates over towards you, Colton. And um, let's see here. Oh, uh, okay. Idonia, uh, you see, um, well, you both see tracks, several tracks in here. Uh, some look hooved, others look like humongous uh, footprints, probably about uh, six feet long and three feet wide. Um, and Idonia, with the 17, you are able to follow the very, very large footprints and hoof prints. Um, they converge at a point towards the back of the room, and there is a double set of doors behind a pillar back there that they must have uh, gone through. I'll turn to Sizzy. I think we can go that way. Thank you very much for helping me look. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, do you helpful. think it's... Do you... They went that way, you said? I think so. I think that's probably where we should start. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah. Can it's you instruct... <laughs> Can you instruct your charge to walk... You know, sort of behind us a little bit, as, as politely as you can? Yeah. I just don't want him scuffing up the tracks, you know? Yeah, it's better if he steps after us than us after him. I turn around and I um, stick my head through the wall, uh, through the hole in the wall. <laughs> and, uh, I, I prefer the first image. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, spending five minutes with Jennings, I think Sissy is um, on the right track of doing that. Uh, yeah, I I just look back through the hole in the wall and I call out, "Hey, we found some kind of track." Y'all should come with us. And um, Jennings, 
Stay behind me. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll, yes, I'll do that. All right. I turn back around and I head inside. Okay. <laughs> See, poke your head out. Um, those of you on the on the outside, uh, seems the coast is clear. Uh, you all convening on the inside of the cathedral? Yes. Okay. Okay, you all, all uh, convene on the inside, and you follow the trail uh, out the back of the building into the, the alleyway behind. It is a dirt road, so um, as we, the tracks aren't going to be as easy to follow as they were inside the building. Um, do we have someone who is a actively tracking this? I feel like Idonia probably would be, as as she's trying very hard to be professional and sort of sort of take charge of this sort of situation. Okay, um, Idonia, would uh, can you do a survival check, please? As there are many, uh, you go from two sets of prints out into an alleyway that is pretty regularly traveled. Let's see if you can discern between uh, those prints and others. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Um, it, you, you look around, and as soon as the, the prints leave the cathedral and into the alley, uh, there's there's just so many prints here. Humanoid prints. Um, I mean, some, some of the hoof prints that were assuredly from the centaur could be mixed with horse prints at this point. Um, there are little footprints. There are very, very large footprints, um, but it's so regularly traveled that it's hard to tell exactly which direction, left or right, uh, they went. Adonia looks at this situation, pauses, and then tries to affix a, a, a something resembling a smile, almost, to her face, turns back around to everyone. Well... The tracks only led us so far, and we are in a city, so, um, anyone have any good ideas as to where they might have started to go? Um, can you show me what the prints, the tracks looked like inside the cathedral? Uh, well, yes, they're, they're right there, you know, in the, in all the dust, it's very, and Adonia will, will point them. Okay. Colton will step outside and uh, he'll see if uh, he is able to glean any information from what Idonia is pointing Sure, sure. Um, yeah, go ahead and, and also roll a survival check as you look around and squinting and, and looking very carefully into the the alleyway to try to separate these. Okay. Um well, the 15, I'd say that you're able to, the hoof prints are pretty much lost into the the shuffle. Um, although the the large footprints, human looking footprints, are pretty indistinguishable. Or I'm sorry, indistinguishable. They're pretty, um, pretty well distinguished amongst the other footprints because there's not very many of them and they're spaced so far apart. And they're fresh. So you're able to discern that uh, they went left. The large footprints went left. The um, the hoof prints, it's harder to tell which direction they went. My best guess is the people we were looking for went left. Idonia sees Colton as someone who is clearly of, of uh, increasing authority, so she will just agree. Yes, that seems very reasonable. I, I am amenable to the plan as seen. Well, what have we made for? Okay, so you guys would like to head uh, left in the alleyway? There is only left and right. There's no, there are no other options back here. It's pretty cramped. <laughs> Just a point of clarification. Colton is is the leader of this, right? Because we're such a, you know, a, a structured guild. I mean, for right now, you all hold the same rank. Oh, okay. 
he was just kind of um, kind of pushed onto it by the sergeant. So he doesn't hold any rank above you, but he was the de facto leader now. Okay. And it will reflect in his review, assuredly, should this go bad. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. All the weight on the shoulders. Okay, so you guys are, are taking a look. You're going to follow the giant's footprints. Well, okay, now I said giant. Whatever. Um, the large the large footprints, the human-like footprints, uh, to the left. You go through a small series of alleyways that lead out into a uh, more large open area, still in, in very much secluded ruins compared to the majority of Ravnica, which is, you know, a, a vast cityscape and very... Um, a lot of the, the upper parts of Ravnica are very civilized. So as this area opens up, you see that uh, this is ghoul territory, for sure, but as you begin walking down this street on the left and on the right in the ruined buildings, um, from religious buildings to, to households, to um, broken down schools, to what looks to be a a factory that w was looks like it was burnt to the ground at one point, which is long overgrown with plant life, vegetation. Um, you see, you start to see signs of other life. You see a uh, families, small families, um, some elves, you see some humans. Uh, you even see a, uh, what looks to be up on a, a ledge which was once a, a windowsill of one of these broken buildings. Um, you see a small halfling child peeking its head out, dressed in a garb that that was probably taken from a small, um, small furred animal. And a dirty looking child, halfling child, uh, is looking down at you. And a, uh, a gentle hand puts a, comes out on the child's shoulder and pulls it back inside. Um, this is uh, for surely the way the giant's tracks went, but this road seems to be the main road in this section of uh, of uh, Gruel territory, but it, up ahead it branches off. Doing the tracking? Or is Colton, have you taken up that duty? I, I had deferred to, to Colton at that point. I would uh, still see, kind of see Adonia as the kind of the main tracker for the group. Uh, if uh, if it looks like to, she's having any sort of um, judgment uh, call needed, adults, I, I would step in. Okay. So Adonia, as, as Colton kind of you know allows you to uh, to take point on this. Um, can you roll me a survival check? Because your uh, the tracks and the road that is far more traveled than that than that alleyway um, begin to spread out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Same one. Yeah, second verse, same as the first. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't know what it is, but uh, man, these these big tracks they just kind of meld into uh into the general flow of traffic in this area. Adonia is um, trying really hard not to look incredibly sheepish right now, but she just is off her game today and just looks at Colton and doesn't ha have anything to say. Just I, I sir, I I, uh, I I I have no idea. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. He'll put a, a reassuring hand on your shoulder. It, it's all right. It's it's a maze back. <laughs> and uh, uh, Colton will try his hand at seeing if he can uh, find the. Sure. Yeah. You 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 kind of step back to let Adonia do uh, do her job and <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, failed twice. <laughs> Now you're now you're looking uh, you're looking down again. You're never you never really like, completely took your eye off the uh, the tracks. Go ahead and uh, roll another survival check. I will laugh if it's fifteen. <laughs> okay. 
So 12. Um, yeah, you, you see the, the road branches off up ahead, but you can tell vaguely that, uh, that the, the giant prints still stay to the right of this trail or of this road. Seems like they're heading to the road. You, uh, as you guys follow the road and stay to the right, keeping on the trail, uh, you're noticing that uh, this is a pretty populated area for being, uh, you know, for being in ruins. People seem to be getting by. You can smell fires cooking foods. You can hear uh, whispers on in the uh, coming from the buildings around you. Uh, no one, no one here look, even looks armed at this point. It looks like a pretty residential area. And um, up ahead, you you see a uh, a elf man, um, and with a with a, a wild scraggly hair, and he looks quite dirty. Um, and he kind of looks up at all of you, and he's he uh, he pulls. He has a, a tanning rack right outside the the door to his little stone house, and he picks up his tanning rack and opens up the door and starts shuffling all his stuff inside as his house is right beside the road and he really doesn't want to be around you. Hmm. Um, you all uh, continue down the road. Uh, is there anything um, you guys need to discuss or anything you'd like to check out? Um, are we doing anything other than tracking? Every now and then I'm going to turn around and make sure that Jennings is right on my heels. Oh, he is very sheepishly on your heels. Um, Good. So much so that he, he keeps his hand, hands in his pockets, and he's standing very rigid. And uh, um, every time you look back, he's ah, I'm still here. We're good. We're good. That was fun, young man. Uh, I, I, don't, uh, I, don't, I don't do field work. I don't know why I'm here. I don't need it. Spine well, work. Well, 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 listen. As long as you don't, you know, go around yelling "kill it" anytime we're we're talking to people or you know whatever, just it'll go fine. Just don't, don't, don't scream out, and you'll do fine. You know, I... unless you're getting killed, then definitely scream, and one of us can help you. How 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 do you know I wasn't on death's door? That thing. It has a stinger. Bees have stingers too. But bees don't look you in the eye and and and, and threaten to kill you like that. Did it tell you, "Hey, I'm gonna kill you"? It did it with its eyes. I'll believe it when I see it. If you see it, you'll you'll see. You'll be afraid too. I I don't. I need to get back to my paperwork. I don't understand why I'm here. It'll be fine. Just take notes in your mind and just 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 follow us. Who knows what's going on? I don't even know why you're here. Let's go. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thank you. Okay. He kind of moves even closer to you. So now he's like a foot and a half away from you. <laughs> keeping it very close. Edonia tries to stifle a little snicker as she takes just a little bit of pleasure in the fact that even though she's really failing at tracking, she's still not, like, the lowest on the totem pole of this particular mission. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for, for her shortcomings, she's still not stuck with that. <laughs> so that's good. There's a little solace in that. Okay. Um... How about, since we've traveled a little bit, uh, Colton, can you make, <laughs> as you are now point point personnel, um, can you do another survival check, please? Can do. Okay. Night, man. You, okay. So, as to further Adonia's um, hit of pride, um, yeah, you... you, you You've got the solid, um, solid way of the tracks. It actually looks to be as though the stride has um, has picked up. So whereas it was um, 
where it was very close before. It seems as though the um, the giant's prints have opened up. And you also see more hoof prints than than you've been seeing before in the along with these giant prints. So presumably they're still together. Uh, up ahead, since you are, are on the right way, you got you make a few turns um, through this maze of, of ruined neighborhood. Um, but uh, after a few more turns and easily tracked tracks, you see what appears to be a hut, a half of a hut on the road up ahead and the other half in shambles along the side of the road. And you see an elderly human woman um, kind of dragging the tarp-like uh, skins and hides off the road and uh, to the to the rest of the hut, trying to uh, trying to gather everything up in one spot. Hello there. Hello. Can help? Help me. Uh, Colton will, as soon as he sees and hears this, he'll uh, head over to render some. Ah, someone who may need healing. I will come with you. I keep an eye from a distance while standing next to this boy. Okay. Adonia will go with with Colton and Zelluche. Okay. So the two of you uh, stay back, and the other three. I head over to the to the elderly woman, and uh, she she looks to be about eighty or so, and uh, she's got very very long gray hair that goes down to about her ankles, and she has a uh, a light brown skin, and um, she's smiling at the three of you with she's got about half her teeth left, and um, and she's got a very worn weathered face. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I just come through here all willy-nilly. Just don't care about the old me. Can you help me pull all my belongings along the side of the road, please? Is anything... Yes, ma'am, we can do that. Is anything broken? I can fix things. Oh, you can, can you? Sure. Ah, well, there are about the half a dozen things laying over there. And she points on the ground, and you see uh, what looks to be a like a spice rack, and um, also a a spit that would uh, have an animal on it or wood, but doesn't at the moment. Uh, a broken spit uh, over a doused fire, um, a doused fire area. Yes, that's uh, that's all just pretty fadoddled right now. Can you can you take a look at it? Can you fix it? Indeed. I'll head across and start casting mending on anything that needs mending. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You see all these like little uh, make sure spice bottles, and a bunch of them are cracked, and the spice is on the ground. And um, yeah. So you start. Okay. So you start fixing up her her belongings, and she's she's dragging uh, furs and. Uh, what looks to be some very shoddy makeshift furniture, and uh, she's getting the other two of you to help. I, uh, and she's looking at you, Idonia. I I appreciate you stopping. Thank you, dear. Idonia is just standing there with her arms crossed. Uh, looks like we got a lure across friend. her chest. What happened here? She's kind of like furrowing her eyebrows. Well, uh, you, you know, when the big ones come through, they don't really care much for us little folks. So, uh, you know, I, I, they, they came through and they squashed my house, the big sons of bitch, and, uh, and they just kept going. They didn't even say they were sorry. Oh, all right. They squashed you all. Adonia will relax a little bit at that point. And uh, and go down to help the others. They're picking stuff up. Okay. She's waving for you to kind of help her with the chair that she's trying to drag along. 
meekly along the along out of the road off the road. Thank you. Antonia will will help as much as she can, but she's not particularly strong. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's not a very big chair. It's, it's okay. just a wooden, just a wooden chair. But it's it's, it's a bit much for her. But all right, two, all right. Two of you will easily bring it to the side of the road. Uh, Colton, what are you doing? I'm just uh, helping with whatever I can. Um, after after a while, I'm gonna turn to the older woman. You wouldn't happen to have a, a description of the. Uh, the creatures that did this numbers races stuff well i was on my chamber pot when they rolled through uh, i saw one i saw a giant a big son of a bitch uh he, he stepped on my house i was trying to get my my furs up and cover my bits uh and uh it's really all I saw, because the house came crashing down. Um, yeah, it's just a big, a big, a big thing. A giant. Of, I don't, I don't know who it was, really. I don't pay attention. I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, did you happen to see which direction they were? Uh, yes, down, down the road. Uh, the, the, that one right there. She points to a road that leads off the main road. If it's uh, if it's Grulub, uh he's the only giant that I know that lives over there. Oh, he's a mean one. Uh, best be careful. As soon as she says that, Adonia is just going to set down what she's doing and snap her fingers at the cleric, whose name I didn't bother to remember, to call him over. Uh, Jennings is going to look at you meekly uh, and then look over at you, Sissy. I, 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 what does she want? I have no idea. Let's go see. And I start walking. Colton, uh, I think it might be a good idea to have the kid help pick up some of this refuse that has been scattered while we perhaps scout on ahead so we don't lose them. That's the best idea I've heard all day. Jennings? Um, yes, sir? Y yes? Kindly assist this old lady with anything that she... Uh, all right, I'll, I'll help. I'll, I'll help what I can. Very Comes over to... Comes over to help uh, pick up what Adonia what, what Adonia has, uh, has done with. And, yeah, the old, little old lady is is happy to see uh, more hands helping. Thank you. This is my entire life here in this hut, and I don't want it getting crushed again. <sighs> just tell, just you know, I'll have the young man pull us over along here. Uh, would you all like to stay for stew? Unfortunately, ma'am, we cannot stay, but I deeply appreciate the offer. We need to continue investigating. You know, uh, if you, uh, I mean, I, I, I know where, where he lives, um, tell you uh, you know if I were persuaded if I were given a hand with some things Adonia is just shifting uncomfortably looking at Colton <laughs> he looks back at you like oh are you fucking kidding me uh, no I, I mean I, I need things that I normally can't get you see, I'm not quite as young as I used to be. Sure, I'm, you know, just as beautiful, but not quite as young. My stew is in my stew is in need of some uh, some black web berries. Uh, I could sure use a young body or two to 
to fetch them for me. Adonia just does that thing where, you know, someone, like, closes their eyes and just breathes in real deep before they say something. Like, oh, gosh. Yeah? You know what I'm talking about. Huh? Yeah? Mab, can you give us just a moment? And kind of, sure. uh, I, we don't have video, so, sorry, my hand motions are failing me today, uh, but is sort of like ushering everyone to come over to her. Not Jennings. <laughs> Jennings, Jennings, still Jennings can still pick things up. He's grumbling over there to himself. You beckoned, Edonia. What's on your mind? So, in, in sort of hushed-ish tones, are we really going to go? I mean, we, we know where they went. Are we really going to take pause here and fetch things for her. I, I know that's polite, but we have things to do. Uh, I see your point. Well, we have fixed her things. In my mind, our karma is good. We could rough her up a little bit and see if she reveals the information then. Adonia's eyes just get real wide. Like she's seeing you for the first time ever. So, um, so, sissy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if roughing. Oh, um. No, I, it, I don't understand. Yeah, that's not. It's not um, ideal. We don't have to that. harm her physically. We could just threaten to break some of her things. I think she's been through enough. Well, it is up to you ultimately. I think we came here to do a certain thing, and we've helped her out. It's not like we're leaving her in a ditch or anything. I mean, we still gotta make sure that we do that certain thing we came here to do. Agreed. Stew's getting cold. Shark could use some berries. They're not very far. Tell I'm this boy to stop drooling on my stuff. Jennings! Stop <laughs> drooling on our stuff! If I'm going to be perfectly honest, I'm starting to suspect that she's deliberately stalling us. Can I turn to the lady? Does she look s just does she can I can I try and like incite her to see if she's serious about the berries or if it's like if that's the deal? Sure. Because honestly, who puts berries in a stew? Inside jerk. Ooh. 19. Nice. Um, yeah, she seems uh, very serious about um, about the berries. Actually, uh, Nairi, or, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Sizzy, uh, mm -hmm. can you, uh, Sizzy and I, ooh, now I'll give all three. Sizzy, Adonia, and Instaluce, can you all do nature checks for me? Indeed. Yeah, it's only As natural after all. <laughs> it's, only, it's only natural. Um Yeah, just uh just to put in perspective, um let's see, Sizzy and Adonia, you can both recall uh the black web berry is a pretty versatile and um rare uh berry that uh, could be used in stews it could actually be sold for for some money as well because they're hard to find especially in the more metropolitan areas of uh, Ravnica please help me I'm not I, I don't mean I don't mean any harm I just I've wanted these berries for five months now and I just can't reach them I think she's taking advantage of us 
I think so too. I mean, she really wants these berries, but at the same time, who else is gonna help her, you know? So she might be taking advantage of the fact that we're just here, we're trying to help. And honestly, if she's the neighbor, she might be on their side. You don't know. You can't trust anyone. She also not might here. have some information that we might not otherwise be able to glean if we just do this errand. Maybe she'll have... Edonia just gulps. All right. I look All over right. at Jennings real quick, just a quick glance. Is he up to no good? Uh, Jen Jennings, uh, he is very lazy and slowly picking up like one, um, one spice canister at a time, dusting it off, setting it uh, in another place. Grab, slowly reaching back over, grabbing one, uh, something else, and uh, yeah, he's 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 doing he's he's grumbling, but he's uh, doing what he's told. All right. As much as stopping in the middle of a chase goes against everything in my mind, if you think it's best, Colton, I'll back you up. At one point, I might agree with you, but sometimes you have to slow down and assess the situation. Ah, yes, the tale of the hare and the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's applicable to everything, of course. Okay. Oh, yes, people make soup out of the turtle. Mm. Turtle soup? Did someone say turtle soup? Well, now yes. now we're just thinking about the berries. Oh. Turtles come later. Yeah, wonderful. Or they never come at all. Such I believe life. we are straying into philosophy. <laughs> Man. You, you people are complicated. Ah. Uh, okay, so it will only take a few minutes. Just, you know, you can do me this favor. I will happily tell you how to find him. Because he's a son of a bitch. Edonia just looks over at Colton and kind of dismissively waves her hand in the air and then puts her hand on her head like, ugh. Yes, uh, so where can we get these berries for? She, uh... She uh, stands uh, stands up straight, and you hear all kinds of joints crack, but she put a big old um, kind of toothy smile uh, across her face. Uh, it's just uh, right behind uh, two houses down. Uh, quickly, quickly. <laughs> she uh, starts a little bit of a cackle and um, starts hobbling down the street, which is a perfect time to take a quick break because I think we may be able to get Zoom up and so, well, <gasps> here from our- Just got a message, Zoom is resolved. So um, we will probably take a five, 10 minute break. What we'll do is we'll go and change over to Zoom. We'll also maybe take a quick bio break and um, we'll come back and finish off the rest of the story. Okay, um, yeah. See you shortly, everyone. It's so weird not being able to see people and do this. Ah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. And thank you all so much for your patience. Yes. Oh, yes. So, see you in a minute.
guys, we're back. Everything's everything's working. We're we're in. We're, we are we are visual. We can see each other. Fantastic. The zoom. Thank is you real. for bearing okay. with us, everyone. So, Let's carry on. Okay. So l last we had it, um, everyone was joining this uh, little old lady along the side of the road uh, to to help bring her disheveled life back off the road because she says the giant came through and stepped on half of her house while she was on the chamber pot and um a lot of it was all just smashed out on the road so y'all stopped to help her and uh, put everything back off the road but horse stew that was cooking is still um this was well it's not cooking at the moment she has it setting off but um it's it's still hot still smells good but she needs, she needs these special berries that are rare, pretty rare. You uh, two of you did discern that uh, they're well-known berries that are hard to obtain. Um, but she said, man, she can really use them. She knows where some's at. She just hasn't been able to get to them. Um, so you help her out. She'll tell you where this this giant lives. And uh, you just decided to walk with her away from her her hut and over to where these berries are. She actually takes you behind the buildings next to her. Um, uh oh. Okay. Um, is my mic okay, guys? Can you guys hear me okay? Bubbles up yeah. now and then, a bit crackly, but we can mostly hear you. Okay. Maybe I'll just move closer. There we go. Um, <laughs> math berries will. All right. So, um, so, so yes, you uh, you all follow this little old lady who is ecstatic and hobbling uh, behind the house next to hers, and she takes you behind that house, behind the next house, and then uh, behind the third house away from hers, there is a uh, it follows a rock wall behind them, and she takes you to that rock wall and around the corner, and there, sure enough, in a cut in the wall, up about 25 feet there was a ledge with a bush on it a very a, a, a thorny bush below the ledge at the bottom there was a very large probably 10 foot long large thorny bush but on the ledge above in front of the thorny bush there is a small bushel of berries black berries with um white spirally silky looking material around the vines to lead out to the berries. She's <laughs> look, there they are. There they are, quick. The, the black web berries, they're up on the ledge. Oh, they taste so delicious. On this ledge, is there like any way to climb up to it or access it or is it just up there? Uh, the stone wall face is very, very tall. Um, it's actually the border of this of this portion of the city is it plateaus at the top, probably a couple hundred feet up, and there's buildings up there. But in this mm -hmm. lower lower quarter of this uh, this portion, um, it's the ledge itself is about twenty five feet up. The the rock face on this wall is it's pretty pretty smooth, uh, worn over time from weather, and there's no like footing good footing or any way to to easily climb up there the ledge itself looks to be in total probably 15 feet across and five feet or so wide enough to accommodate a large um a large thorn bush and also the small berry bush in front of it and you could probably fit two or three people up there comfortably mm -hmm. sitting but uh yeah it'd be, it'd be straight up straight up hand and foot uh, climbing to get up to that ledge. Well, anyone uh, got any ideas? Do we just climb? I don't suppose any of you can fly. Not without assistance. As a last resort, I can try and shoot the bush down, but don't think that's going to serve us any good firing weapons. You see the dilemma I'm in? I've been staring at this beautiful bush for months and months now, and I can't get the berries. 
I have a sickle with which we could crop the berries from the bush. Is anyone strong enough to throw me up there? I'm pretty light. I could attempt to throw the goblin. I am not strong, but I can fix you if you break on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> we have a backup. Alright, what the hell? Throw me up there. Alright, well, what kind of check would you like? Oh boy. Um, a, fly, <laughs> a fly check. Uh -huh. Let's do do an athletics check. We'll start it's with be, that. It's gonna be the second time we're gonna be flying through the air. Yeah. Let's keep on theme. <laughs> and the lights went out just as they came in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we looking for here? Uh, Seventeen. That's not too bad. Okay, so Colton, you you reach down and you pick up Sissy, and Sissy, you 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 prepare yourself for your second flight of the day. And um, Colton, you 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 throw the goblin through the air and. Goblins are lighter, sure, but uh, I mean, it's it, not light enough to get up 25 feet. It's not a baseball, <laughs> but um, you, you throw Sissy up, and Sissy, you, you make it about about 10 feet up, um, and what, how about you make an athletics trick as you <laughs> oh, try boy. to, like, grab your scraggly goblin fingers into the wall and not slide right back down? <laughs> um. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, um, that's probably it. Yeah, that's as it should be. That's that's karma. Okay, so uh, so you, you, he gives you a good heft, and you hit the wall, and um, yeah, and you just your nails start to grind down it. There's really no good good way to grip this. It's possible to climb this whole wall, but there's no solid way. You know, no hand and foot rock uh, rock climbing perfection. Um, so you slowly slide down as your fingernails grind. Um, luckily, their goblin fingernails are nice and thick as they mm. grind off the rock and you Ooh. slide down. I, I have an idea, but it's going to be very DM's discretion. I am a druid. And I have druid craft. It says I cre may create a sensory effect such as making leaves fall <laughs> and that sort of thing. I'm wondering. <laughs> hmm. But does that leaves fall like a a leaves fall or making the leaves fall from a thing? Exact wording is you create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect such as falling leaves. Conjuring them to, to happen. Like you would conjure the smell mm. instead of manipulating a current smell. Um, Quick question. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say that you tried it and you see um, some, some leaves fall off the berry bush. Uh, but it doesn't seem as though the berries are showering you. Um... From, from the spell. You do see some fall on, onto the ledge up there, some of the leaves. Not sure if they're from the bush or if they're just leaves you conjured, but leaves fell off, off the tree. I tried. Would Colton have been briefed on any of the party members' abilities before going out on this mission? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we could just say that you, you, you all casually know each other, at least, you know. You work in the same precinct. The the druid could technically well shape into something to Mount fly up there. Mm. Uh, yes, he says, looking at his character sheet probably for the first time. <laughs> Yeah. See him, I could wild shape into something. <laughs> He's doing some soul searching. <laughs> it only reiterates then. And none of us can fly. That's, that's an absolute certainty. I also cannot fly. Not until I get at least three more years' experience. Mm -hmm. Maybe a small map, rodent or... that could just climb up the side of the wall. I could wild shape into a small spider or group of spiders. Perhaps you... create a web that could act as a rope. I mean, we, you could turn into something very small, and then one of us could toss you, and then you could turn back and throw the berries back down at us. That is a terrible idea. I don't know why I said it out loud. <laughs> I, I believe I can <laughs> climb the wall as a spider, then turn back into my normal self, 
toss the berries down. However, I will have run out. No, wait, hang on a minute. And then I can turn back and climb back down again. Seems like a solid idea. What would you like to do? <laughs> okay, so you uh, you wild shape into a spider. Yeah. And you skitter up the wall, the uh, the uh, the wall, easily, with ease. The rest of you see a small spider fall up the wall. And Jennings takes a hammer. <sighs> no, no. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah. Uh, Instella Luce, the spider. You climb up the 25 feet easy up to the ledge. You get up to the ledge and in front of you, you see, which is now a very large uh, berry bush. And a bunch of thorns and stuff behind it. I will transform back into a dragonborn. Okay. I wish whoa, I had like. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So you grow as a dragonborn, and um, you start picking the berries with my sickle. Oh, okay. So you start hacking them off. Sure. Um, uh, can you do me a uh, deck save, please? Yes. I would appreciate it. Okay. So you are pre precisionly, precisely, whatever that is, um, adverb, uh, cutting the cutting the the berries off this tree, and um, let's see here, and. Uh, as you're cutting the berries off the tree, wait, do you, I need a deck save from you then to see what happens here. Yeah, uh, I just cut the berries from the tree. And um, what, what check was that, sorry? Uh, deck save, please. As you're cutting the berries from the tree, not that you're a nice large dragonborn, um, you uh, you you hear some rustling coming from the thorn bushes behind the berry bush. Uh, as the as you look up to see what's moving in there, probably a, an animal of some sort, the bush itself begins to rise up from the ground, and where it's shaped like this. It begins to fold in on itself and become uh, a tube, the shape of a tube. Uh, but you see on the inside of the tube where there are thorns all, all on the inside and out, uh, inside the tube there's now some sort of like bony-like teeth. And the tube itself <laughs> goes up and down on your body. Half of your body is inside this plant-like tube. The rest of you can see this from the bottom. Uh, vaguely, you see a, a, a plant looming over Instella Luce, and uh, before you're able to uh, to give him warning, uh, you see him look up, and boop, half of his body is dang The bottom half of his body is dangling out of a plant. I need you all to roll initiative as soon as I get the initiative tracker up. Need you all to roll initiative, please. That old lady put some trap. Uh, yeah, I don't have a token set up though, so it won't hit your tracker. Yeah, it's uh, like that. Oof. Ooh. That's fine. I'll just. Uh, I don't even need a tracker. I'll just write it down. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so Sizzy's a thirteen. Um, the Luce is a five. Ooh, a one. Woo! Go okay. real slow. Okay. And let's roll for plant. Roll for plant. Okay. So. Perhaps I called that. This plant appears to be alive. <laughs> 
said, <laughs> bloop. Okay. Fourteen for. Inside it. Is it like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds very, very far away. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you're all looking up, and the plant seems to have half engulfed in Stella Luce. Um, who's first? So, okay, Adonia, you are first. I feel like what Adonia would do is whip out her sword, point it in the direction of the old lady, and scream out, what sort of trap did you just take us into? The old lady gasps, ah, I swear, I didn't know that thing was up there. I just wanted to visit the damn berries. That's all I wanted, I swear. Please don't kill me. I've already got squashed taking a poop today. Please don't kill me. <sighs> Adonia just wheels back around. S Sissy, maybe you can shoot it. I, and I think that's probably as much of an action <laughs> as... There's no, you're fine. You're fine. You were just you were just um, interacting with the object. You got your you know your thing out. You're good. You can still do an action if you'd like. <sighs> then what I'm gonna do is drop the sword and and pull out my bow and get that ready. Okay. Okay. So you get. Well, I mean, you can switch weapons if you'd like to. You can still do something. Switching a weapon is a free action as long as you're only switching one weapon so if you were you had your sword i like didn't have the it. sword like out though so i thought that oh, okay. pulling out the sword threatening the old lady reassessing then switching was probably okay pushing it <laughs> sure, sure 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 okay so uh it is the plant's turn <laughs> um okay so, so they um yeah oh still... wait didn't neri get a 13 yeah, the planet's 14, though. Oh, 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 sorry. I just didn't add the modifier when I made the Oh, roll. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Um, okay, so uh, the beauty of it is uh, I don't have to wait for instant of Luce because um, you, pull out, you, you pull out your sword, talk to the old lady, pull out your bow, looking up. As you're looking up, you hear a, a liquidy slurping sound. And all of you on the ground see plant-like tendrils come out of the thorn bushes on the ground. Uh. And they start whipping around. There is how many? Hold on. Let me count here. Okay. There are eight tendrils. And they are <laughs> slapping around. And you see the, uh, the thorn bush on the ground pulsate as though it's breathing. It's just like a heartbeat or a breathing. It starts pulsating. And it starts pulsating faster and then it stops. The tendrils go stiff in the air and then... How many? Okay. Um, and then three of them, one each, start lashing at each one of you. <laughs> Actually, no, let's roll. Because you know what? Jennings is, and the old lady are targets as well. Oh, no. So, so uh, we'll say... Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Adonia. Okay. Colton. And Adonia. So, uh, Adonia, <laughs> two of the tendrils come at you. And uh, one of them goes towards Colton. Um, and Stelloche, well, I guess you wouldn't know exactly what's going on right now, but we get some shit going on down at ground level, too. So the three tendrils come over, and they are... Anti attack. Okay. That's six to hit, so that would be... So Adonia, the two coming at you, making like a, a slurping sound. Um, as they creep across the ground. Ooh. Oh. Uh, the first one, uh, 25 to hit. I think it might hit. Ah, uh, the second one, though. So, oh yeah, the, the first one, it, it, it catches you off guard because you just now started to look up. 
uh, with your bow in your hand to try to figure out how to help uh, install Luce and you feel something um, really smack the bottom of your leg. Uh, right down by your ankle. Uh, I need you to make a deck save, please. As as the uh, vine smacks your ankle and begins to wrap around your legs. D10 plus four. Yeah. Okay. You, um, as the, the thorny... Oh, nice deck save. As the thorny vine wraps around your legs, you start pulling your legs out from it, um, but it, the thorns on the vine are tearing up your your pants and your legs. Uh, you feel the, the, the warm blood running down your ankles. You take six points of piercing damage, and you see the second vine coming in now. You're very aware of the situation going on, and the second vine shoots, shoots at you as well, and you easily dodge to the side of it. Um, also escaping the grasp of the first vine. Uh, Colton, a third vine out of the was it eight? Yeah, out of the eight vines. Um, the, the third vine shoots off at you, slithers across the ground, and then juts up at you. Uh, burr, burr, burr. Oof, oof. 20, 25 to hit. Uh, can you also oh, yeah. make a dex save, please? As it uh, as it shoots up at you and tries to wrap around your torso, and begins to to slowly spin around your your body. Oh, nice, very nice. Spin around your body. You take eleven points of piercing damage as the thorns rip through uh, the cloth and leather material of your armor and into your abdomen. Not deep, but um, but deep enough to hurt. In Stella Luce. My brother. Let's see what you're doing here. Okay. So in Cell Luce, you are restrained at the moment. This creature has you half in its half in its mouth, in its tubular mouth. Um let's see. Uh have to check. Uh okay. I need you to make an athletics check. Is that if I'm trying to escape? Well, I'm sorry. Uh no. That's uh athletics or acrobatics check. As this thing is trying to pull you up and like kind of shimmy you down its throat. Uh, instead of making that check, can I just emit poison everywhere? As like peeing, or I how have do you emit poison spray? I'll just um <laughs> down its throat. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it would gag it to death. Um. For this time, for for just uh, for reaction, not unless you have uh, Warcaster. I don't know. Okay, I was say maybe if you have Warcaster, we'll, we'll work that in there. Um, no poison yet, but you have your chance. Looking into the future when you said that, um... it was destined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for thirteen. So you start to um, this thing starts to constrict like a snake. Um, kind of accordion style, and you are starting to shimmy down its throat. Uh, as you as it shimmies you down its throat, you 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 take one d ten plus four. You take twelve piercing damage as you are making your way down its throat. Everyone else, you now can only see the feet of Instella Luce up on the ledge. Please ignore me as I quickly roll my health. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. And that is the plant's turn. So, um, Sizzy, you're up. Okay, so just to um, lay out what Sizzy sees from her short perspective. Um, so there's the ledge, there's the bush, there's the plant that just came out to take um, and still a luche and is now swallowing him up. Yeah. Um... You said that there was a uh, sort of like a harpy kind of looking thing at the base of the plant. Uh, well, at the 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 bottom down with you guys, uh, the uh, there's a pulsating. Th the thorn bush is actually pulsating. Uh, gotcha. It's at the bottom with us, not up there. Yeah, correct. Gotcha. Um. So, 
we can deal with this stuff. He's kind of helpless. I'm going to try and shoot, like, at the neck part of the plant, where, um, basically where I don't see Instella Luce through, you know? Like, I'm not trying to shoot him. Okay. I'm trying to shoot the part that he's not at yet, so that I can get the plant to spit him out. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, sure. All right, um, helps if I tell you what gun I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out my musket. Ooh, okay, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> um, does that hit? Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, I think 28 just hits by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's nine piercing damage. Nine piercing for it. And do I have to spend? I'm not sure how reloading works. That is a great question that I cannot help you with because I've never played a the gunslinger class. So if Re anybody else reload has... usually takes an action unless you have the um, lightning reload feat. It's usually a crit point. If you're using Mercer's Gunslinger, or if you're using a different kind of Gunslinger. Oh, no, I am using his Gunslinger, but I do not have that. So, I'd have to basically use a different gun if I want to try and shoot again. Or just take an action um, reload. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, well, I, I spent one of my attacks. I, I'm using my action. As a free action. One, one weapon is a free action. So, I drew... Shot, can I switch and shoot again? Um, only if switch? only if you have, yeah, if you have multi attack, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're gonna use, two attacks. Yep, you use your inner your free action to to switch and then, yep, use your second attack. Sure, mm -hmm. okay, I'll I'll shoot with my pistol next. Okay, a 15. A 15 hits. Ooh. Wait, why did it roll twelve? Oh, that's because of the second advantage. Yeah. Just, just a nine. Yep. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you fire off your musket shot. You see um, green liquid. A jut of green liquid uh, fly out the side of the tube. <laughs> and luckily, there's no red liquid. And Stelluche is a okay. And uh, <laughs> and you shoot. Uh, you manage to shoot a little bit lower than that, and also hit. Um, also hit a second time. As you see more green liquid, you also see the the, the tube-like plant up top, um, like waves back and forth a little bit. In Stella Luce, you you feel yourself shift inside of it as it's uh, convulsing for some reason. You're not sure why. Put another nine damage. Excellent. Uh, anything else? Movement or anything? Um, I'm just gonna move so that I'm standing between Jennings and any of the tentacles around us. Okay. Yeah, Jennings is standing right next to the old woman, like, with his mouth hanging open. <gasps> Just kind of staring up at Instella Luce, mostly <laughs> gone inside the plant. Yeah, I want to try and act as a shield, even though I'm much tinier than he is. I'm just trying to be protective here. It's a brave goblin. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Who's up next? Uh, da, 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 da. Instella Luce. You're next. And you're muted if you're talking. Why, thank you. Why? So, yeah. hmm. I'm looking at the things that I can do. <laughs> do all the things. Well, this is, this is one of my first druids, so, you know, it's quite exciting. Good, good. Um,. Is wild changing it to my wild trip? That's a bonus action, right? It's a bonus action if you are a moon druid. Everybody else, it's an action. Ah, uh, it's an action. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'm a moon druid. Um. Okay. Cool. So in that case, I will instead I will use the poison spray thing, like I like I said originally. I will poison spray inside the beast. Sure. Uh, 15, 14 con save. Uh-huh. Okay, let's get here. No, I don't have any of them loaded. Um... Okay. Urgh. Okay. So you, you spray poison on the ends. I don't know how you could miss, um, but it's able to, it's just 
it's a plant. So it's you you see the poison um, run down the inside of this thing's gullet, and uh, it doesn't seem to have affected it any. Okay, uh, in that case, I will use my bonus action to heal myself up a little bit. Can I do that with healing word? Yeah, sure. Healing yeah, bonus bonus yeah, healing word's a bonus action. It is a bonus action. Cool. I'll just take an extra 7 HP back. If you want. Boop, boop, boop. Excellent. Heal, child. Heal. Okay, um... Hmm, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, you, you don't quite uh, try to break free. You try to get your hand free. You spray some poison. Nothing seems to happen. You cast Healing Word. Um, yeah. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see here. Colton, you're up. I will draw my greatsword and just go straight for the pulsating bush. Okay. Oh, um, Jennings, oh, no. just to give you, just to give you, or Jennings, Colton, just to give you, sorry, I didn't mean to insult you like that. Um, just, <laughs> just to give you a heads up, uh, you are about 10 feet away from the bush, and okay. the, the vine that's on you, actually, no, never mind, you're not leaving its reach, never mind. Continue, go ahead. Okay. Let's say attack of opportunity, but you're going closer to it, not farther. Durr. 14 to hit oh, for the first set. You uh you go to hit you go to to bring your great sword down on the bush and one of these one of the the vines that, that has just been kind of waving in the background uh comes over and just smacks your your wrist at the last second. You just miss the the bush. You bury your sword into the dirt. All right, for my second attack, I just I'll use that momentum and just kind of still go for the pulsating bush just from the other side. Sure, sure. On the upswing, hell yeah. So yeah, you you your hand smacked away, but you use the momentum and swing upwards and slice right through the bush. That will be 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. The uh yeah the pulsating bush begins to quiver. As you see, um, several several strands of the of the viney bush uh, get cut away and land on the ground, and they also quiver for a second before going still. Green liquid begins to kind of spatter out onto the ground. Very good. Uh, anything else? Bonus action or movement? Um, I think I'll hold for bonus for now and just stay kind of uh, firmly in front of the pulsating bush. Okay. Sure. sure. Okay, so top of the or oh actually no. Um so uh the the elderly woman um you're all dealing with some problems right now, so you just hear her, ah damn it. And uh she runs up to the vine one of the vines that's smacked you Idonia, and she has a little dagger and she's um begins poking at the at the vine with a wonderfully Wow, go Granny. Okay, um, so she starts stabbing holes into the vine with this little like cooking knife. <laughs> Give me my berries, you selfish bastard. And that is one d four plus two, so for five piercing damage. <laughs> I love this old lady. The old lady is like the best character in this game. <laughs> Poking away. <sighs> and uh, that's her turn. Um, Jennings is gonna stand there, mouth mouth wide open, looking down and up. Oh, just damn, Jen. Paralyzed. Um, let's see here. Paralyzed in fear. Okay, top of the order. I do it. You're up. All right. Well, I got smacked by some tendrils, but I still have my bow in my hand. So I, I'm going to ignore what's directly attacking me, look up at Insoluche situation, cast Hunter's Mark, and hopefully shoot 
not in Stella Luce inside the creature with my bow. So that's we'll, we'll say. Oh no. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Never mind. I don't even need to say. Oh no. <laughs> um oh, wow, Britt. I'm today so sorry. for you. Today for you is wonderful. Um wow. so Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. I'm on my first game on this channel. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> it's fine. Every, everything is as it should be. I think this is a metaphor for like most of the things that happened uh, you know, whilst trying to get the stream started today so far. <laughs> <laughs> today. today in general. Hmm. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, that's real roll exciting. Damage. Okay. Do, so do I still get the auto damage from Hunter's Mark? <laughs> oh. Um No, because you didn't no, because you didn't mark scrat. So okay. the <laughs> so, so the um the arrow flies up, it hits the plant, it seems to kind of graze the plant, but puncture some kind of membrane on the outside of it. And uh uh still Luce, you get a pain in your ass as uh as you feel some metallic object enter your butt cheek, and um, yeah, <laughs> take three points of piercing damage. <laughs> Can't see where it came from. It might have been one of the you know the thorn things on the inside of this thing. But only free tell, damage. But... At least it was only a little prick. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that little prick. Um, but yeah, it feels cold and metallic. But it, you know, it could be a thorn. Sure. Okay, uh, anything else I don't hear? Uh, you, have, you have a second attack now, right? I do. I I'm do. Making... I, I... I can tell you when they get better, but I'm not so sure. All right, I'm going to just gulp again, because this day is just not going how Adonia thought, and, and try to shoot again. Oh, okay. That one's, that's a real shot. That that hits. For seven? Okay. So... Um... With maybe an additional two for. Oh, like sure. Okay, so nine total. Okay, so you put a second arrow in the creature. This one, um, a few feet lower than the first. And uh, yeah, you see it sticks into the side of the, the tube shaped plant thing. And um, you, you see it shimmy again, convulse as though you've dealt some pain to it. Very nice. Um, anything else? Movement? No, I think I'm in a reasonably good position. <laughs> okay. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see here. And... Uh, the, oh, the plant. Okay, <laughs> so, install Luce. Insult to injury. Um, I need you to make a deck save as this thing <laughs> begins to contort and try to further push you down its gullet. No! Okay. <laughs> So 1d10 plus 4. Um, so you feel the thorns in the inside of this grind at your skin, at your scales. Um, feel some fresh blood uh, in addition to your buttocks blood. Begin to, <laughs> upside down, begin to run down uh, your abdomen and off your shoulders um, and down into the beast, the belly of the beast, so to speak. Uh Man, okay, so you take uh, 12 piercing damage. And uh, the great part about this is uh, you're f you're fully inside now and you you, uh, you don't have dark vision, so you can't really see below you. It's kind of dark. Uh, but roll me a perception check with advantage, please. Because you hear something. 19. Sounds like there's a lot of liquid right below you. Oh boy. And it smells vinegary. Mm. Oh no. Ah. You're getting closer to the, the smell and the sloshing sound. Ah. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Um, okay, so that's the top part. Uh bottom part. So three tendrils begin to whip about. Idonia one, Colton two, Sizzy three, um, Jennings four, and Granny five. It's gonna be Jennings three times, isn't it? 
<laughs> that, that would be awesome. One can only hope. So, oh. speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, no. Jennings, Granny, and nobody. So, uh, Jennings, Granny, and Granny. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so the vines um, kind of veer away from you, Idonia and Colton, and they s swirl around you and lash out towards Jennings and uh, Slasher, sl Slasher Granny. She's still poking away at the, the one vine. <laughs> and um, let's see, so Jennings attack first. Where's D20 plus six? Okay, so Jennings is staring in awe at everything and he sees the vine coming towards him and he runs in and hides behind you, uh, it's Sizzy. It's coming at me. No, please. No, stop it. Uh, you, you shoot it. Bang. And uh, <laughs> he comes and he not only like stands behind you, he ducks behind you so that you're, so that you are actually <laughs> block, um, block it from him. And it lashes out at him and kind of slaps down in front of you, Sizzy, on the ground. Uh, Granny's stabbing away at the vine and the vine she's stabbing at curls away from you, Idonia, and and uh, starts to wrap around Granny. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, oh, Granny. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh. So, Granny's have been a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 1d10 plus 4 and another d10. So as it crits Granny, the uh, the vine wraps or easily wraps around Granny's frail body, and, and um, she's oh no no. Uh, it wraps around the whole bottom part of her torso. She makes a deck save and fails it, and the vine slowly wraps and grinds around her, and she pulls up her dagger to stab down at it as the second vine lashes out at her as well. Okay. So, a second vine lashes out at the top portion of Granny, and you see her disappear between the two vines, one wrapping from the bottom, spiraling up, one wrapping around her head and spiraling down. You see, you, see, uh, you lose vision of Granny in this pile of vines it's wrapped around her. All you can see is the, the red liquid running between the vines and out and dripping out um, towards the ground. You hear her in there. Um, and then you know, and then she's not talking anymore. Oh. And um, that is the plant's turn. Sizzy, you're up. Um. Can I discern from the lack of swearing that Granny's dead? Uh, you don't see her and you don't hear her. Not sure if she's dead yet. Oh, God. Um, it's crap. assuredly she can't move. Um, for one of my attacks, I'm going to turn. I'm going to point the pistol at the... Um, uh, part of the tendril that's wrapped, like, not one of the tendrils that's wrapped around her, but mm -hmm. not the part that's wrapped around her, but the one leading up to it, you know? Like, I'm not going to sure, yeah. shoot her, but, you know. Yeah, the base, sure. Um, yeah. Which one, top or bottom tendril? Top. She needs to breathe. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make this a violent shot. Spending mm -hmm. one grip point. Uh, so let's see if this actually works. Let's get violent, kids. Fantastic. Um, so natural wow. 20 for that. Does that mean I also... Because I get one more damage die. Does that mean I double that one more damage die as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All damage, all di dice rolled for damage, you double. Yep. All right. So that's two right there. And two more. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so that'll be minus, that'll be minus, um, what is that minus? That second roll won't have modifiers, though. Uh, no. Oh, okay, okay, uh, never mind. So it's the, it's, wait, what? What? Okay. The second one doesn't have modifiers, what? What well, says dex on the, 
I'm confused. Oh, wait. Um, Seven and four. four okay, so three. minus four for them, I guess. Yeah, well, well it's... Your second one's fine. So it's 19 plus seven, which is 16 plus four. Or no, I'm sorry, plus eight. Um, so that's 24. 24 total. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the only thing that's minus is that four, four modifier on the, the second attack. Gotcha. Die. Okay. Um, so yeah. So, okay. So you, you, you put your pistol out. Um, as you see Granny get overtaken and um, you just blast the hell out of the where it runs and starts wrapping around her and the vine explodes into two. Uh, the the base of the vine starts retracting as you see just green uh, caloric liquid just spewing out of the vine and it retracts over towards the the pulsating base of, of the plant and the vine that's wrapped around uh, the upper part of Granny's torso uh, just goes still. It's, it, it, it goes lax. So um, it starts to fall away, but it, it's it's still like on her. Okay. Oh, does that natural 20 get me my grip back? Because it says if you... Um, wait, I think if you crit um, against a creature. Maybe? I believe. I'll I look couldn't... that up when it's not my turn. Um, I'll look that up. Um, but, okay, yeah, so since that's starting to fall away, I'm gonna, um, looking between that and the pulsating heart and the swallowing, like, the, the, the dragonborn that's being swallowed, I'm gonna try and shoot at the plant again. I'm gonna expend a grip point for that as well, um, okay. for violent shot. And that's a 24. See, kids, violence. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. So that'll Ooh. be, um, I guess thirteen, because one of them we remove four. So. Oh, modifier. Okay. Yeah. So thirteen points of damage for that to the tubular plants. Tubular. Tubular. Oh, right. Yeah. Gnarly. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you you good. You blast you blast a whole chunk out of the um, the tube thing at the top. Um, and still so looching. So you're looking down. You're listening for that nice sloshing sound and that weird smell. And you see sun. You see sunlight poke through the side of the creature. There's now a hole below you um, to the outside of this uh, of this plant creature. Can I see the stomach acid? Because I have a very cunning plan. <laughs> uh, actually, I, okay. We'll say with with the, the hole she shot in it, you get a you can see like the the reflection, the glimmer of the sunlight um, across the the top of the liquid. Yeah, you can tell that there's, yeah. Because I went and I double checked exactly which um, druid I took, and I took druid of the land, which means I can do certain things to the environment around me, such Ooh, as good. sleet storm, which will freeze an area. Very I've just nice. been googling freezing gastric acid for a little <laughs> while, and apparently I can stop the acid secretion by freezing the stomach. That right there is science. Freezing <laughs> gastric acid. Yes! Science will prevail. <laughs> wait till wait till is it? There we go. Sleep science storms kidding. inside the stomach, if I may. And then, you, if, I, if I can use my bonus action to try and wriggle my way out, I, I will. <laughs> Sure, sure. Uh, Sweet Storm also does damage too, right? Uh, I don't. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll proc it. I don't think that it does actually. One of them does, and one of them does, and I can't remember which one is is which. Freezing rain and sleet falls on a 20-foot cylinder. The area is heavily obscured and exposed in flames of doubt. The ground in the area is covered with slick ice, making it difficult to rain. Make a dexterity saving throw or falls prone. Okay, okay. So you cover. Okay, this is perfect. So you you manage to to get your hands out and you cast Sleet Storm. The entirety below you of the inside of this plant goes to ice. So if this thing manages to, to keep wiggling, even wiggling you down, the thorns aren't going to deal damage to you farther down um, because everything is is coated in ice below you, including the the acid. Not sure how deep of an of a layer of ice is on the acid, but you can see that the, the top of it is definitely frozen. And uh, what would you like to do as your bonus action? 
Uh, well, I am really low on hit points, but uh, I think wriggling out would really be an action, so I'm going to use the healing word again at level 1. Oh boy. Uh, and we're getting another 7. Hey, I wonder if that's rolling right. That's the second time I've rolled a 7. No, that's good, man. That's good. Fixes your butt. Yeah, seems uh. legit. Seems legit. Okay. Um... Very good, very good. Very good science. Way to go. <laughs> Solving problems with science. Okay, so um, yeah, you freeze up that nightmare, and uh, okay. Uh, Colton, you're up. Colton's first attack, he'll just bring his greatsword down on, again on the pulsating that one, and it's a one, so that'll be nine points of slashing damage. Nine points of slashing? Okay, you start hacking away more. More the 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 vines, the thorny vines, are. You're doing some gardening. They're just kind of flying up. So this plant's really like liquidy. Like it's, it's as you're cutting it, it's a lot of sappy green stuff coming out. All right. Well, I'm just gonna continue hacking away for my second attack. It's a oh, 22. Yeah. Excellent. Chop, chop, chop. I'll re-roll the two. And I get a one, so that's certainly right. Um, ten points of slashing damage. Ten? Okay. Okay, you're you're hacking a good bit of this this plant away. Um, it's the, the rapid pulsating it was doing before is now just a it's a lull. It's a boom, boom, boom. And you can see that's the pace of the, the sappy liquid that's coming out of it as well. It's just a so very well done. Very well done. Uh, any uh, bonus action or movement? Um, let me just check something here. I will use an action surge to take another attack action. That's okay. Sure, absolutely. All right. So we're just I gonna. Don't... Colton wants to finish this. The 10, I'm assuming, won't do anything. Uh, 10 does not hit. Followed by 23. Oh, yeah, that does. Redemption. Redemption. Aha. Uh, re rolling the two. Champion. Great. Nice. Yes. Okay, so, so that'll be 15 slashing damage. Ooh. Nice. Oh man, that's by that miss. That's that fourth swing. Ah, um, yeah, that that's beautiful. You you carve a nice, beautiful section. Um, I'd say like the whole left side of this this thing is is pretty tattered. Uh, you're you're starting to see as you're carving into it. You're starting to see that that it it, it thickens, um, begins to be more of a, a writhing, um, squishy mass towards the center of this. The, the viney, uh, the viney thorny exterior seems to be protecting some kind of uh, some kind of node, a plant knotted node. Very well done. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. I'll just st stand put. Okay. Uh, let's see. You uh, you, um, Sizzy, I guess Sizzy and Idonia right now. You hear a. Uh, <laughs> you hear this very faint voice of uh, of old Granny coming from um, the loosely wrapped plants uh, around her. Well, the bottom isn't, but she must be too weak to do anything because she doesn't act. You just hear hear her slight cursing under there. Oh. And uh, that's her turn. Jennings is um, peeking up over your shoulder, Sissy. Did we did we get him? Uh, and he hides behind you again. Uh. And uh, top of the order, Idonia, you're up. All right, I um, could I see like a lot of movement on Estella Luce's part, like like that because he, he was trying to wiggle out, right? Oh yeah, yeah. The, the the plane up there is constantly moving. Um, like 
slightly, uh, but you see when you guys shoot it, it really really flails. For right now, it's just kind of you can tell that it's either he's moving inside of it or it's moving him inside of it. Okay. Um, well, I know that I didn't kill him then, uh, so I'm going to take the <laughs> chance and uh, shoot uh, the creature again with my longbow. Seventeen. This was gonna go a lot. This was gonna go a lot differently because I, th I thought I'm like I'm like oh they're gonna he's Jennings is so annoying they're gonna send him up there. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted. Yeah yeah see, uh, seventeen seventeen hits. All right. Ooh, so ten plus six on the hunter's mark. Okay uh, so. Oh god god. I was gonna say if you know if I hit and it seems to go okay I think I would I think I would just let another arrow loose sure so uh, huh? still Lucia, you look down, oh my beautiful you look down what and you see that? below the hole you see an arrow come come in um bury itself in the uh the inside inside wall of this uh, of this plant creature comes out through the ice on the inside and uh wow beautiful so 13 so far you get to roll another d8 and... Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, no, it already. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Oh, two, two is your modifier. You got, you've got to have a have a bigger modifier than that. No, because I'm built for fighting with the short sword. The bow is elastic. Oh, well, poop. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Okay, so thirteen, another thirteen. Okay, so um, so you shoot the uh, you shoot your arrow through it and um, pull it. You feel it loosen, and the plant creature begins to fold over, and you start to slide out. The opening in Stelhuche. You feel your your feet and your knees hit solid ground for once as you're slowly sliding out of its its lax mouth. Very nice, very well done. Uh, the vines that are wrapped around Granny also become loose and fall away from her body. She all she fall she collapses on top of them. So she's just kind of laying on the mound of of uh, of vines at this point. So, Luce, you climb out of the mouth of the plant creature. For all intents and purposes, it looks to be quelled. The plant creature is dead. And I have the berries. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of cake. Okay, so you're looking down at Stella Luce. You see uh, the five, well, the five of them down there. One of them barely. Granny's the top part of her body just limp, uh, laying on the plant creature. But um, yeah. So what would you guys like to do? I will the luche. Throw the bushel. Granny needs down. fixing. I will throw the bushel down towards Sizzy, and transform into a squirrel. Okay. Yes. The squirrel will make its way down. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's not flying, but I'll be a flying squirrel. <laughs> that's not flying, that's just falling with style. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, I think I think I'll probably go to the No, I'll go to Jennings. Okay. You see him he has got like a tear at the corner of his eye. Oh, I was worried there for a second. I'm not gonna say a word to him, I'm just going to stare at him. Until he breaks. <laughs> Stare at you for a second, and then a, uh, and then a. Uh, when he looks I, away, I'll walk away. Can I help you? Uh, uh, okay. He just stands there, holding his hands meekly in front of him. I will head over to Granny and cast Cure Wounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You, yeah, you go over to her, and uh, she is. You, you, you can hear her breathing just very faintly. Here, Granny, have seventeen HP, more than the <laughs> average citizen. 
I mean, I mean. Ah, thank you. Oh, I hurt all over. Oh, what a day. Did we get the berries? Did we get the berries? We got the berries. Oh, lovely people. I'm so very sorry. I didn't know that thing was there. I just thought there were bushes. Kind of as uh, Colton's um, final act, he knows this thing is dead, but he's just going to uh, spin his greatsword around, look at that node, and just plunge it straight down, just, you know, making sure. Oh, nice. Yep. You bury your greatsword into it. It's it stopped moving at this point, but you bury it deep into it, and you hear the, the like a, a, a popping and, and sloshing sound, and you pull it out, and all is very, very still from the plant. Very nice. I'll also take the opportunity to use my second wind. Sure, sure. How I that? will healing world word myself. Okay. That's... Oh, poor Scrap. So many teeth. Ah, oh, a nice nut one there. Perfect. Oh, oh no. Of course. Um, okay. So, uh, what would you what would you all like to do? Granny's trying to, to wiggle her way out of the uh, the plants at the moment. Jennings is standing there, indecisive and useless. <laughs> and so, down. Luce, do you have anything that cleans sap off of armor? I can mend your armor once it is rusted. <laughs> all right. Well, it's not quite rusted yet. I'll just hand him my handkerchief that I had wiped the dust off myself with earlier and walk towards the grandmother. All right. Add one handkerchief to your inventory now. You're <laughs> okay, Sissy, what are you doing? I'm going to look at Jennings. I don't need to kneel because I'm already like. He's kneeling, and I'm at, like, eye level, aren't I? Yep. Aye. Jennings, what the hell? What? You didn't do anything. Granny was suffocating. What was I supposed to do? You I saw don't Slap something, anything. You do know, you the to... enemies. You want me to slap the, the thorny plant? Well, at least try and do something other than hide. I told you, this isn't my, I don't, I don't work out here. This isn't my thing. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I got in a fight with a girl back in college, but that's, I mean, she won. Uh, that's about the, the extent of the fighting I've been in. What Colton, exactly yeah. can you do? I, I think um, Sissy and Colton will ask that question at the exact same time. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I'm I'm a clerk. I process data. I you know, I uh, I type up paperwork it's for warrants. Clerk. I thought you were a You're... cleric. That's no, I told I... them I'm not. I told them I'm not a cleric. I'm a clerk. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know any of that stuff. I can put a, a bandage on myself when I stub my toe, like, and it bleeds and stuff. But I don't. I don't know anything about healing people. I think our faces are all pretty canon for our characters right now. <laughs> this is this is the. I, this is the second time this has happened in the in the last month. See, this is going in my report. I know a people from a faraway <laughs> land that spell that word despite the E. They pronounce it Clark. <laughs> Provides much less confusion. I believe they're called the British or something. <laughs> <laughs> if, this, look, if this was an Azorius affair, this would never have happened. The, dot, the T's would have been crossed, the I's would have been dotted. This never would have been the way it is. But I can't what? Are you blaming someone else? By chance? Jennings? 
not anyone in particular because I haven't followed a paper trail to find out why I'm here. Um, but yeah, sure, someone else's fault. Never yours. Oh, mine sometimes. But, uh, but wonderful goblin, I was eating Danishes in my office yesterday, and now I'm out here watching people uh, get stabbed. Come on now. It's unsightly. I just, I look at any, everyone else like. <laughs> Adonia's gonna pull out uh, her, her backup sword and just thrust it at Jennings' handle first. <laughs> Not into Careful. Jennings. <laughs> that, that end's gonna hurt me too. I give. I yield. Take it. He grabs it and looks at it like a child with a machine gun. What do I do with such power? I don't know how to. I don't know how to hit people with this. Just try next time. Okay. Pointy Flat. end goes in the bad guy. Mm. Okay. All right. I, all right. I, all right. I've watched you all use yours and other people, so, okay. Perhaps we should return him to the main office. Maybe. We Best have I wasted enough time. We need Best. to get back to things. We'll return him when is convenient. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Return me. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Granny kind of finishes pulling herself out of the vines and very meekly comes over and uh, leans on uh, leans on you, Mr. Luce. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, so I promised you I'd tell you where it's at. Uh, his house is, just give me, do you have a map? Do you have a map? We'll show you exactly where he lives. I look to the rest of my party. Do we have a map? Colton, you would map? Colton, you would definitely have a map. Um, I would say of this precinct, uh, Colton, you're probably the only one who has a map of this area. Produce said map. Okay. She points points out, and it's not very far from where your, your current position. So you find your current position, and and she traces her finger and what's over here. He lives there. He'll for surely have guards and maybe more giants. I don't know who he hangs out with. He's a troublesome neighborhood kid. But, you know, when you're 20 feet tall, oh, just, just be careful. Very ill-tempered. But that's where you're, that's where you need to go. Thank you for the berries and the near-death experience. Sure, we'll have another one again here in a few years. And the healing. And the healing. Top notch. Yeah. Thank you. I pride myself. Can you please walk me home? Of course. <laughs> Colton says just before, um, just before, uh, instead of Lucha says no. <laughs> <laughs> we have some uh, philosophical differences. Yeah, crazy old lady. Um, Okay, so you guys escort her back to her hut. Adonia will very sheepishly apologize for, for brandishing a sword in, in her general direction, just very casually, as much as possible. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. It happens all the time around here. Not a big deal. It's just another Monday, yeah? you know? Just another so, Monday. I'm going to prepare this stew. I gotta reheat it now that we've been away too long. You're welcome to join me if you'd like, but now you know where you need to go. A short we... rest might be beneficial, Colton. I have used many spell slots. I, I was thinking the same. A short rest could do us some good. Maybe some of this 
stew with these infamous berries would help. No, they help every ailment, sure. I would be amenable to that. I think the trail hasn't necessarily gone cold at this point, so... Yes. We can also take the time to develop a strategy for approaching this building. But remember, Colton, your orders were to, f to locate where it is. Not to, not to necessarily go in, because um, Commander Yasmin said that there's, there's no way that they aren't packing heat if they're holding an angel hostage. This is true. And for all intents and purposes, it sounds like you y'all have uh, located where you need to go. So maybe yes, and we need to bring the clerk back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe best to um, yeah report back and see see for the next step. Reconvene. Okay. Colton begrudgingly remembers that. <laughs> we can still eat stew. This is true. For this is true. Okay. Okay. So you guys uh, eat the stew um, with with Granny and. It is good. It is actually good. Um, it, it would have been decent with without the berries, but the berries add a a sweet and filling flavor to it. Um, not makes it not as earthy. Cuts the edge off of of uh, the mass amount of vegetables she has in there. But um, yeah, so you, you eat with her. You gather your strength again, and uh, through some decision making and incessant bugging by the clerk Jennings um, you return back to the local field office to to uh, report to uh, Sergeant Groth and um, to gather whatever other forces are meant to march on this giant's home to get this fire main angel out and uh, I think that's where we're going to wrap up today for our first episode of a million glitches in Ravnica. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of technical issues today. Sorry <sighs> players, sorry chat everyone, we got there in the end. We have a grand total of 20,000 dropped frames during the stream for one reason or another. I have no idea what's going on there, but thanks for sticking around, you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, why don't we do our usual wrap-up thing where we go around, we talk about what our favourite part was, uh, how we feel, where we can find each other online, and what we do. Uh, let's go the opposite way around this time and go with, uh, go with, uh, Atomic Firebird first. Britt. Hi. Um, well, I loved Old Lady Voice. That was just, uh, cursing old ladies is just, like, a particular trope I enjoy highly. <laughs> so, I liked that a lot. That was good. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm Britt, uh, Atomic Firebird on Twitter. Um, Speaking of things that are totally tubular, um, I will be on the premiere of Little Buster Season 2 tonight on Encounter Roleplay, DM'd by Nomadic. Mm. Um, other than that, I spend most of my time over on the Greyhawk channel. I have a thing on Monday night where we fight against giants. And I, yeah, I'm around. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, I, I would. Oh, actually, no. Hang on. We get to test out. I'll give a shout out to Encounter Roleplay. This is the first time I get to actually test test the shout out command of the new bot properly. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Ooh, nice. Hey, fantastic. So go and check that out. What time does that start? Eight. Uh, EST. Eight EST. Perfect. So um, enough hey. time for me to go take a nap. Yeah, enough time for a quick nap. Perfect. Uh, well, next around we have Arcanus. Oh, hi, Arcanus. Oh, hi. Um, this was a lot of fun today. Um, even with all the technical issues, still had a fantastic time. Uh, favorite part? Uh, just getting into the mindset of Colton and just how much he was not having any... Like, as soon as he found out that Jennings was a clerk and not a cleric, I think something kind of just broke for everyone the look on everybody's faces <laughs> at that at that precise time um 
also granny voice loved that loved granny granny was precious she granny was not having a good day today oh man um i'm arcanus on twitter you can find me over there um as far as what i'm doing not doing too much um just starting getting into streaming and hopefully uh i can be back on this channel if scrat you'll have me i'd love to be here um but yeah had a really great time today fantastic thank you uh, next around we have malakatra who will be holding our regular spot oh hi hi uh, I'm Nairi, or on Twitter, I'm Malakatra. Um, man, today was fun. Uh, my favorite moments, aside from the uh, centaur kick to the face for the sergeant and the uh, little goblin face through the wall um, uh, part, I think was when we found out, you know, as it's been mentioned, uh, that our favorite cleric was actually not a cleric but was a clerk because that i think not just broke something inside all of us but broke something inside of me a little bit and it was just hilarious it was great it was a great uh twist um i just i loved i loved everything about this session especially granny i'm glad she survived I love that she swears when she's unconscious. It's great. It's canon. <laughs> A plus. Um, <laughs> so, I guess, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Malakatra, or um, if you want to watch some stuff that I do, I am over at Natural Ruckus, where we stream on Fridays and Mondays, where we have cool D&D games uh, switching around. Um Go check it out. We have a Twitter. We have a Twitch. Yeah, everything's on there if you want to know more. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, and so before I take it back, uh, we go to our wonderful DM for the season. Oh, hi, Kyle. Sir Starworm. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, technology has uh, definitely tried to stop us at first, but uh, Scrat, you did a great job bouncing us back. And um, yeah, had a fantastic time. Uh, you guys playing with you was was awesome awesome um yeah i didn't have one particular favorite part i just <laughs> i just enjoyed uh you, you guys rolling with with everything um and yeah the looks on your faces was the fucking most amazing thing today so uh, so uh yeah i am uh, sir stalwart on uh twitch and uh, twitter and I DM this on Wednesdays, and the same time on Tuesdays, I DM, uh, rotate DM player in a Ravnica campaign on uh, my channel on Twitch. And uh, I stream three other, three other days a week, usually um, some Fallout 4 modding or Skyrim modding, and also community games, uh, community video games. So. Join uh, join my Discord, and you know we'll ha uh, can get you in one of these uh, D and D games, D and D five E games, or also um, we do co op video games as well. So um, yeah, uh, Scrat, thank you for having me. It's gonna be a great season, I can tell already, and uh, always have a blast here. And the community is is always wonderful and uh, welcoming. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the, the words about um, handling the issues as well, you and chat. Thank you, guys. Um, I My favorite part today was uh, the Clark Cleric. Um, it's someone that doesn't occur to me because, obviously, in my native tongue, Clark is pronounced Clark. So, Clark Cleric. I, I'm sad I didn't think of it myself. Um, well done. I loved that. I loved that. Uh, I also love the moment when we all had video again, because like we could see that you know we were all, we could see everyone. That was good. Um, this is my channel, everyone. Welcome. Uh, we will be back in about two hours of some cipher system. Um, however, uh, before you go get ready for that, you should also check out some of our other stuff if I can spell them properly, because uh, typing is a skill. Uh, social skill, social, social, not a social skill, social links. Uh, Discord, Twitter, YouTube, go and check all of those out. Uh, they are amazing. Um, we have a wonderful community. Uh, you can send me a DM and I'll get you a game on Twitter. And YouTube, you can go and check out all of these games will be uploaded. We started uploading this season today. Um, so you can check that out. 
Uh, you can also check out our Patreon. Patreon is one of the best ways to support us. Um, you can support us for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, we also have merchandise and sponsors in Bird in the Storm Processing, Processing Publishing, uh, who uh, are a writing company that make D&D 5e modules. Uh, and we also have Mage Hand Press, uh, who made the D&D 5e expansion Dark Matter, which is a sci-fi expansion and a ton of fun. You can also check out some other sponsors in our panels. We've got Arasavod.com. Um, we've got um, Tabletop Loot and uh, Rue Inc. all in the panels there. And there's discount codes for each one. So go and check those out too. I think that's all the things. My internet is going to be sketchy until at least the 23rd. Uh, that is when my internet officially switches over to the business internet. Until then, uh, usually with the Zoom and OBS set up. We get away with it okay. Today was a special case because of Discord and stuff. I guess I'm going to do a computer restart before the next one and just make sure that everything's wiped clear, that there's nothing using up any resources. Um, hopefully, next stream will be back on track, back to normal now that Zoom is okay. Thank you all for riding out for me. Thank you especially players for uh, for riding it out and uh, being amazing through it all. Um, we are going to go and pay a raid over to Rachel, uh, oh baby 190 uh, We're going to bring our raid cry, hit it with science. Uh, so thank you very much everyone keep evoking emotions and we will see you next time bye see you.